As always, thank you for joining me. First of all, a brief health update. Last week, I visited with my surgeon and with my primary care doctor. They are both pleased with my progress. This week, I will be visiting with an oncologist. The prognosis continues to be good. The progress continues to be good, but the progress, just by its very nature, is something that is slow. But I'm moving in the right direction. I'm getting stronger, and I am grateful. I'm grateful for your thoughts and for your love, your support, your cards, and most of all, for your prayers. And please know that I am praying for you as well. On September 9th, the church holds up for us a great saint, not necessarily a very well-known saint, but a great saint nonetheless, St. Peter Claver. He was born in Spain, near Barcelona, in 1580. He joined the Jesuits as a young man. He traveled across the ocean to the city of Cartagena, which is in present-day Colombia. Cartagena was a port city. It was a port city that had a dark side to it. It was a center for slave trade. Every year, 10,000 slaves poured into the port after being captured in Africa, being brought to lives of great misery, to say nothing of their journey across the ocean, being in such great misery. And this all happened despite the fact that in the 16th century, Pope Paul III had condemned slave trading. Unfortunately, it was still going on. And St. Peter Claver devoted his life to serving the slaves, treating them, caring for them, ultimately sharing the gospel with them. It said that he baptized 300,000 of them. He spent his life in this loving service. This wasn't a one-week spring break service project. This wasn't a two-year commitment to the Peace Corps. This was how he spent the rest of his life. He spent the rest of his life basically as a slave to the slaves, as an apostle to the slaves. And he spent his life working, caring for those who most people wanted to forget, those who were on the peripheries of society, and he died in 1654. He was canonized by Pope Leo XIII in the late 18th century. He is a marvelous example of someone who spent his life in loving service, in loving service of God and in loving service of his neighbor. And we may like to think that slavery doesn't exist anymore, but it does. It does exist in our world. It does exist in our country. Usually we call it human trafficking now, but it's the same thing. And St. Peter Claver reminds us that we should be concerned about this. He reminds us to be concerned about others. And he teaches us that love of God and love of neighbor go together. May we always be assisted by his prayers and inspired by his example. St. Peter Claver, pray for us.